Alright, this is a quick ghetto tutorial on how I make my YouTube thumbnails for anyone who's curious. So we're going to go into Photoshop uh, that you totally purchase with your money. Totally legit copy of Photoshop. So let's open that bad boy up. So uh, I guess this is previous stuff I've been working on. What you want to do is file new. And you're going to want to create a 1280 by 720p canvas, which, which is a 720p, you know, that's YouTube's default for uh, thumbnail size. So we have a blank canvas here. And, you know, let's say I've been making the Street Fighter uh, uploads lately. So what we're going to do, like just generic, what I do is I usually use DuckDuckGo as my search engine thingy where you can use Google whatever has the options like street fighter five and then like review I'll go to images and I'm gonna go to transparent which makes it a bit easier and there's a lot of transparent things we'll, we'll use uh, Super Smash Brothers one this is pretty cool right so we'll save it on my desktop for easy access I'm going to open. Let's open that bad boy up. So we're going to hit Control A, which is select all. So you do is, you know edit. Is it edit image? I don't know. Just use Control A, or you can use this. Whatever, it doesn't matter. And then we're going to hit Control C, which is copy. You don't need it anymore. I'm going to paste it right here. And I like how it pasted it by itself already. But uh, we'll just leave it at that. So it's already transparent. And what I like to do is I use my gradient tool, which is like the paint bucket. So you pick that and then we'll hit hold alt, which brings up the color picker. So the alt key on your keyboard, we're gonna choose red. Maybe what is it like pink? Whatever is the most red that you guys this headband. And we press X to switch to swatch. So right there. And then let's do and it's gi, right? It's like white key. Oops. I might have messed that up. Let's do red again. And there we go. And then we're back. We're still at the gradient tool, right? So we're going to go into our background layer. And then I'm just going to like experiment with, you know, just like the colors. It's pretty good. I, I like it. Mm, that looks fine. This is like kind of like a Super Smash Brothers style. Yeah, this looks very much like Super Smash Brothers. You probably won't even need to uh, mess with the, the layer for Ryu, but we can move them around. We can want to hit Control T, which is to transform the image. We can make it bigger or smaller. But uh, I might, I might undo that and just leave it how it was before. It looked pretty good. If anything, I can move them slightly to the right. Or if you want, we can uh, flip it can do uh so let's say the image we can flip it vertically i mean uh, horizontally whoops that's not it <laughs> we'll figure that out another time and uh, what else okay so we want to make we want to make this background look a little bit nicer so what I'm going to do, we're going to look for some cool textures. So like maybe like a grungy texture, like a grunge texture, or we can do like a concrete texture. Just anything texture, like ice crystal texture, something neat like that. Go to images. And then just pick anything, really. Like Maybe not that one. Uh, Something more like that's clear, right? That's you have to buy that one from the looks of it. Uh, this is fine. We'll just do this. Well, I'm gonna save that to the desktop, right? We're gonna open that bad boy up. Control A, select all. Control C, paste it. What I'm gonna do is click Control T, which transforms the image. We'll just resize that guy 
and then I'm gonna hit the opacity right here and we're gonna make it transparent so it blends in with the background right there we go looks pretty cool and if you want to add stuff to to make the Ryu background pop out you can maybe put like a shadow behind him if you want looks okay or you can put like a glow make a little glow around him but I like the drop shadow I will just leave it at that and you know what what makes a, a YouTube thumbnail pop is um, a border so we're gonna make a new layer right and then we're going to hit control a which selects our whole canvas again go to image we're going to go to uh, select modify border uh, five pixels is fine you can do four whatever and then you hit g which is our paint bucket tool or great whatever but just go to your paint bucket tool uh, we'll just use that dark red that's already there that i use from reuse headband and then we just dump it on there and there we go we have our border and then we're going to press t which is for our you know horizontal type tool or whatever your font and i'm going to use the dirty streets font that i got from the internet and let me show you how to download fonts and add them so what we're going to do is go on a website called defont defont.com where you can get fonts so let's say for example let's get something cartoon it doesn't matter. There's, there's a millions of fonts on here that are for free. Um, I recommend that you just get something that's a free one because sometimes they're just like samples you have to like pay for. We'll go for Milky Nice. That's a cool name. And then I'm going to download it. Let's save it. We're going to go into the desktop. Open it. I think PTF is what you need. Double click that bad boy. Whoops right click it install all right it's installed now we can use it milky nice should there it is milky nice then this is a youtube um, now You know, it could be nicer looking, but this is just, you know, for example, let's uh, choose a color. Maybe that red maybe looks good, or the white, the gi white. All right. Now we can right click. When you right click a layer, you can modify stuff with it. So I'm just going to go to the blending options, right? And then we can make it have a shadow. Makes it look a little bit nicer. And then what we can do, we can put a texture in there. There we go. And then just like I think you can get more textures online. Just experiment with what what it has, you know. But like there we go, it's fancy. And you can export it. Quick export as PNG. Save it to your desktop. Example, and that's it. That's how I made my ghetto YouTube thumbnail. This is short, under ten minute tutorial. I hope it helps people. So yeah, bye bye.